Like I said, it's not going to be possible. Besides, I did not force him to train me in school. We are friends. We are dating. Uh -huh. Yes, he was supporting me. He was supporting you? Yes. But you guys had an agreement that he would train you in school and you, you will marry him. I did not decline. Yes. But after everything, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. So you want this young man now to go empty-handed? There is nothing I can do about it again. No, Besides, the knocking sins, he's not paying. So why will, I, why will I refund? Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, please, um, what's the name? I'm Mira. Mira. Yeah. Mira for... Mira. Mirabel. Okay, Mirabel, okay. Yeah. Mirabel, how are you doing? I'm good. All right, Mirabel, um... First of all, before I go into details why I invited you down to this place, I would first of all appreciate you for honoring my invitation. So thank you very much for coming. Eh? So Mirabel, please, um, do you know this young man here? Yes. Okay, who is he to you? My boyfriend. Your boyfriend. Yes. Okay. Um, Mirabel, there is an issue he brought to my table that made me to invite you down to this place. This young man here said that he has been dating you for six years plus now. And he said he's the one who trained you in school until you graduated. Understand? And he said that you guys had an agreement that he's going to marry you after you graduated from school. So he said he has been, because of that agreement, he has been the one training you. He said he's a fashion designer. That all he has been doing for you, he has been doing it from his designer's business. And he also said that he went as far as establishing a business for your mother. If there is any way he lied, just let me know. Eh? So he said he went as far as establishing a business for your mother that everything was going okay everything was going okay not until you graduated from school that after you graduated from school that he told you about marriage then after some time you started you people started acting up including your family forgetting everything he has done for you guys he says that sometime he will come to your house your parents wouldn't want to open the door for him. And maybe when they finally do that, they will not offer him a seat to sit down. And they will be treating him like nobody, like somebody they do not know. Understand? So he said that this thing has been happening, that he called you and asked you what is happening, that you are not giving him any reasonable response. There is something he said that happened one day that he went to your mom's shop and he took water, he drank water and forgot to pay. He went home. That your mothers have to send you to him to go and collect money for that water you drank. I asked him, are you sure of what you are telling? Or this thing you are saying, are you sure is of a truth? He said that it is true. Understand? He said that this thing has been going on. That he has been going, that you people have been treating him anyhow. That he just said you're not going to marry him, but you're not giving me giving him any reason why you don't want to marry him. So after narrating his stories to us, sorry, behind him is my seer, who by grace of God, he sees secret and deep things. Eh? And he also knows when someone is lying. And here is camera. We are recording this program and the world is watching. So after telling us his story, everything that he has gone through in your hands and your family's hands, I asked my seer to check and know if what is re happening between you people, if it's ordinary or maybe someone is uh, behind it or there is a plan, a hidden agenda. So my seer looked into it. He said that no one is behind it, but he's seeing like, a trick that you maybe you guys are planning to trick this guy or something but he went ahead said he's not going to say anything for that that we should invite you down to this place so that you will come and use your mouth and tell us exactly what happened what is going on and son maybe he said maybe 
there might be something you have found out about the boy or there is something he did that you don't like that is making you and your family said you are not going to marry him so i asked him if we can see you he said yes i corrected your number and i called you which is the reason why you are here so mira i want to ask you a question or oh, okay better still i want you to tell us what you have to say concerning what this young man said about you the bottom line of everything is that he trained you in school and after graduating you have refused to marry him why well the thing is that um i'm not disputing the fact that he trained me in school okay he also opened business for my mom provision store okay i've been dating this guy for six to seven years okay before i enter school and after my graduation he now proposed to me which i accept okay i did not deny the proposal okay. because i truly love him okay so along the line my parents already knew that we were dating okay. so along the line when he proposed to me i told my mom about it you know tradition okay you have to do one or two you cannot someone cannot just propose to you and marriage just start like that okay. you know so after much i told my parents about it which they were all happy too so they now went to do one or two as tradition demands okay. then i found out that he's an outcast like your boyfriend is an outcast yes okay okay bros you heard what she said yes are you are you people an outcast yes or no don't prolong the video. yes okay you for families an outcast yes okay and uh, no problem come a little bit front okay okay they find out their family his family is an outcast and what happened so after that then i said that i cannot marry him because he's an outcast and my place we don't marry an outcast okay so i tried convincing my parents that we have come a long way i cannot just quit the relationship like that okay. so the thing started bringing issues at home you know they know more than me Mm -hmm. So I cannot just go against their wish. Okay. I tried to convince them. This is not about like convince I try to convince them because they say it's tradition. Okay. You know, because of the future, just like my mom used to say that it's not as if that she is against the marriage. No. That she is doing all this because of the future. We cannot you cannot and that I cannot marry him because he's an outcast. Okay. But so, aside from that, aside from that, is this guy a good guy or something? like i said he's a good guy he has been nice to me and that was the main reason i have to tell them i cannot just quit the relationship like that you told your parents yes okay. that we have come a long way and since all these years he's a he's very in fact he's whole and whole okay. you know he's always there he does everything for me okay. so the only problem now is that he's an outcast which it's not it's not as if that the, the, the matter is not paining me like okay. after i mean so many years that i'm not going to marry like the person that i love but i cannot help it so, so i've tried explaining everything to him but he refused like did you talk to him about it yes i did chairman you heard what your girlfriend said mirabel eh so what do you have to say concerning it very much where well. i'm even confused that's why i even come to you that if anything that you people can help me because i even confirm i'm surprised to her that she still loves me because i don't even believe that she still loves me maybe it's because we are here that's mm -hmm. why she's saying all these things mm -hmm. because the character she's not even picking my call i even surprised if i called her with my own phone mm -hmm. she will not pick okay say but you called her i'm surprised to pick up your call Okay, um, Mirabel, you heard what he said. So why are you not picking his call? The reason why I'm not picking his call is, uh, I also want him to come to his senses. You understand? Now, I cannot go against my parents' wish. Okay. You understand? And okay. I've tried explaining to him 
that we cannot get married. We can still be friends, but the okay. marriage aspect okay. we can't. Okay, um, Kevin, you heard what Mirabel said. Hmm? You never told us that the reason why, because I asked you, did Mirabel, did these people tell you the reason why they don't want their daughter to marry you? You said no, that they did not tell you. The word heard everything. But now, right in front of you, she said she explained everything. She told you that the reason why she's not going to marry you is because you are not cast. Hmm? You didn't tell us this part. So, now you know the reason. And you said something. You didn't even know that this girl loves you. She said, you people can be friends, but when it comes to this marriage of his thing that is not going to work, that his family, the, where she came from, that if, if for, they forbid it, that they cannot marry an outcast. So now you know the reason why she doesn't want to marry you. What do you want us to do now? You know, I've lost everything trying to train her to school, doing everything possible, trying to tell her, like now I don't even have work, I don't even have anything to do, it's no work, no place to so cool. So I'm even suspecting if the parents will settle me back to everything I've done for her, because training her to school, I know how much I spend, both school fees, house rent, everything, everything she's putting on, it belongs to me. I did everything, both for the mother, make sure that the junior brother is still on school. Mm -hmm. I won't forget to tell you that, Seth. What did, I made sure that I put the junior brother on school. Mm -hmm. The other one that wants to learn handwork, I made sure that I tried mm -hmm. to pay off so that she start learning handwork. Did everything for the family. That is what the family used to pay me back. I want to know if it's true, if what they are doing is right or wrong. Okay, um, Kevin, I heard what you said. You said you want them to, the bottom line of this thing you are saying, that you want them to refund you all the money you spent in assisting her and the family yes okay no problem um mirabel you heard what she what he said yes i heard him so what do you have to say concerning that he won't since you don't your family doesn't want you to marry him because your place for vc that maybe he's an osu and they wouldn't want you to marry him he wants a refund of all the money he spent on you it's not possible it's not possible no uh, it's not possible. I reform him. I don't understand. Why will I reform me? Why? Like, it's not, seriously? It's not possible. It can never be possible. <laughs> Besides, since then, I stopped collecting anything from him. Except he's doing it willingly. Okay, ever since you find out that family, your family said you wouldn't marry him, you stopped collecting things from him? Yes, I stopped. I'm not collecting anything from and him really anymore. Again. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I distanced myself from him. Okay, that's why he stopped picking his calls. Yes. Okay, um, Kevin, come a little bit closer. Kevin, you heard what Mirabel said. Hmm? So, now she said it's not possible to refund you this money. What are we going to do? Hmm? But okay, people, you guys have heard this story. Let me not just conclude this matter without inviting Sia into it. Let me invite Sia into this very issue. Let's see what he has to say concerning this very issue. The bottom line of everything is that this young girl here loves this guy and she still do. But the only bridge between their two is now is that this guy is an outcast. And the Mirabel's family, where they came from, forbids that. Eh? So without wasting anybody's time, I want to bring Sia into this very issue. Let me hear what Sia has to say concerning this very issue see ya eke ne kwangi nkuku biko ya bu wata kri wa yi si mme eko obi eba abye gukwin ono ni iluwa yi uwa ako gukwe ni mye ako kon enye unwoke kola yi mbo olu teru eba we joa ya iyo owe di iki kubwa yere ya O si me izi oku, izi oku. Ni ye wa, ya bo wa takiri mwoke Kevin kule babu, izi oku. No we lo ase deni ye. Ni ye melo no. Oji we, ju na mbo oku chala wako, ya bo wa takiri mwoke, we bia kutia. We mele ye hendo yibo na po propose, we propose we ya, ba ye mwanaka, mki igosina, ocho re enu ye, ya bo wa takiri mwai. 
na ro kwani ya bombo na ki igosi no okwele okwepo okwele ni eno ya bo watakiri woke owe na ro ya gawandi be ha ihe na emenu obi dubu tendi be ha na nwore man o si tandi be ha se eme na nwa ha cho ye no wan na ha ga ga jwe ese ka amado ibu ya hu si manu ndire mmadu nwa ha wan na aba ye ni ya na mbe ndi be ha ga jwe ese ewe cho puta na ya bu nwa takiri woke bu ohun ndi be ha we ju na nwa ha wan amanu ya bu watakiri woke osi kwa noga kwa niru ifu imeka ndi be ha kwa loko ono ya bu watakiri woke beta ajula aju semba mwe si agi mmekwe na ogwara ya bu watakiri woke osi na ogwara ya bu watakiri woke na ogwara ya na ehie meru nu na ochoro ene na o maka na obu ohun me na ochoro ene mana ha wiri ike ka bulo oye ha ga ni ha ga bo oye but na abia na nko onu di na wiye na o ma nwo ok but what akiri woke na eku na obu na ebe obu na achoro enu ya na aga akwu achi ogwo ni na ye ni na o me ni shi ya bo what akiri why man ko ji meperu ni afia man ko ji ti enwe wan ni ewoke na na akwu na nko yo nko kwa oro ogwe bo na amwo oro na aga akwu achi ya bo ogwo nsi what akiri why ye okwu ni ya bo what akiri woke ku o si na o ma me wu na odro possible na o ma me wu ya bi ihe nwe si gi biko do 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 ki ne bagodira ya na oku a kai mari hi were iki ku na ya bu oku eh kai mari kai gi siga ya bi ije e ke ne kwa ngi nku ku okay si i want to say something let's hear what si ya has to say si ya biko gani ru gwam e chori ku ana me agent ah ma ife basalo osu mhm ma obo ohu a ana eku maka ya okay obo kwa no nnuku to oku delo otutu obodo okay see i said that this thing this issue concerning an outcast is a very big problem when it comes to some certain places some certain villages Uh, san si ana megen ti ine ku maka otutu obodo mhm mm ana ra kwa na ekwe inwe mmeko na ndi ndasi na fa bu osu mo bu ohu okay see i said that so many people so many villages eh they don't associate with anybody they said that this person is an outcast they don't associate so their tradition for busy they don't associate with such persons Okay, see ana manu ine ku mana aja kwa nuno ku a gbasalo mm -hmm. mada ebo a eh eh abe nya bo mata kiri nwo ke gbasi golo mbo ni na mhm mm ni si nya bo mata kiri nwo ani eh eh ndi be ha we mesi a chopota na nya bo mata kiri nwo ke bukwa na osu mhm mm we si na oyara anu nwafa okay nya bo mata kiri nwo ka ayara kwa na agba aka na okay see i said that since this guy has done everything to train this girl in school at the same time establish business for the mother and other things he did eh and finally there comes to marriage they find out that he's an outcast that this young man will not go empty handed see ana ma ni hini ku maka na ngota na nya bu nwata nwa na ndi ezi do nia mhm enwego mmeko di na etiti ha abua mhm nya abu obu na ha kwesili kusie ike na oyala anu nwa fa nwa anyi mhm ha ga agba mbo mhm nwa ogbako okay na eti ogbako ga di na etiti ha na nya bu nwata nwa oke oke we ku ka ha ye si we ku chi ogbu ya Okay. Hapa ko yi ni no melo fa. Eh eh. Ah malo ka ha ga esi we ku ya ya. Okay. Maka ni man li fe mmado. Kweli ike. Si maka na obu osu, maka na obu nka. Maka no mana, unkwesi ekwesi lu nyi na me yi obu na tupu na na ta mmado ego. Ka ozu ba nwunu. Na onu na ozu si ya na oga anu ya. Unkwesi li bulu zo jejukwa na ese. Male ebo si. Ka ora pe ibu ni ikpazu. 
abiaso ni ye bi otu ade na ama mmeku otu ana maka no na odi otu aka oji we eburu na ma nwe isi ya be fa de rom okay see i said eh that since it is like this because he said that this young man won't go empty handed that what you would do is that your family and this young man maybe including his own family will sit down will have a round table discussion and discuss on how you guys are going to pay this guy back since you people your family has made up their mind that you are not going to marry him because he's an outcast and your tradition forbids it so you will have to sit down a round table meeting to settle this young man that you cannot eat somebody something and still wants to deny that person eh? that what you people would have done is that when you have this discussion with this young man that he will train you in school and at the end of it he will marry you that what you would have done is to go and make this inquiry you people did after he proposed to you that you people would have gone and do this inquiry did this inquiry before now to find out who this young man is who he is really are who he is then you will know if you are going to marry him or not had it been you people went that time and checked this very thing we won't be here today but your family does not think about that one all they know is that he should go ahead and train you then now now that the same marriage that he told you from the onset he proposed to you to make it official that was when you people started to make a research concerning this guy and find out that he's an outcast that you people should find a way and settle this young man that he cannot be left like this yes when i don't do this thing before now for the when you tell you say let me train you in school and i will marry you and you are accepted you would have gone to check this same thing this guy who is he where is he from what kind of person is he is he then make this research i believe then you would have still find out this same thing and it would have just ended there there won't be any room for training in school or not training in school or refunding the money or whatsoever so that is it see i'm getting Awosa Opum. Okay. See, I said that that is all he has to say concerning this. So, sister, you heard what she has said. Eh? Like I said, it's not going to be possible. Besides, I did not force him to train me in school. We are friends. We are dating. Uh -huh. Yes, he was supporting me. He was supporting you? Yes. But you guys had an agreement that he would train you in school and you will marry him. I did not decline. Yes. But after everything, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. So you no, want yes. this young man now to go empty-handed? There is nothing I can do about it again. No, Besides, uh, the knocking since he's not paying. So why will, I, why will I refund him? <laughs> Rosie, hear what she's saying. I had a bit him. Why will I refund him? <laughs> you are speechless. I, I said that is what I've been expecting from her for a long time, sir. Well, like, seriously? Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen be sleeping with me all these years. Ne. Eh? Ne. Let me tell you, don't even go there. Hmm? From with the way you sounded, you sounded uh, very responsible, but you are beginning to make me see you in another dimension, which I don't want to see you there. Hmm? What was the what was the, the knocking that he has been knocking you and all the, No, it's not being done that way. Yes, it is not being done that way, sister. Put yourself in this young man's shoe. Hmm? What I expect from you is to tell me, okay, that you will go home, inform your family about this very thing, this very issue this young man will go home inform his own family you people will come together and find a way of resolving this issue not this thing that you are telling me here yeah if you are putting it that way i will not be happy with you because somebody cannot spend his out in money to train you in school i god knows how many years he's spending four five years he opened a business for your mother and started training your brother in school the other one is learning learning handwork and he's training that one at the end of the day you are telling him is not you are telling me about sleeping with you or what, what, what i don't like that like seriously like seriously just like she has said this young man doesn't deserve what he's getting from you hmm? and and if you are a christian this shouldn't really matter 
I think I, I I shouldn't matter. I know some tradition for this date, and I wouldn't force you against your tradition, and I wouldn't force him against his tradition. But the best thing you people will do now is to go home. Let me put it to you now. You have to go home, Mirabel. Tell your parents, your family concerning this very issue, what happened here today, that you people have to go and meet this guy's family so that you people will sit down together and resolve this issue. Chairman, you heard what I said. Yeah. I love how calm you are. Eh? I love how calm you are. You are a very good person, and she said it. Eh, but please, you have to put yourself together. Hmm? Inform your family about this thing. Let you people come together, your family and her family, and find a way to resolve this issue. I don't want any commotion. I don't want any problem. If I hear problem, I will not be happy with you. I will not be happy with you. Mirabe, you are listening to me, right? Kevin, you heard me, Abby. Yes. So please, that is what you people have to do concerning this very issue. And any agreement the both family reach, that settles it. Yeah? So please, I will be expecting to hear from the both of you whatever may be the outcome of this very issue. You people should let me know because my fans would want to know the outcome. Do you hear me? Even if we didn't come to the camera again yeah, to say it, just Call me on the phone. You have my number now. He has my number now. Call me on the phone and let me know. But if you still want us to come to the camera and say it for the world to hear what you guys, um, what you people agreed on, fine and good. I'm always available for you people to come and say it out. So, fans, without wasting anybody's time, you guys have heard this very issue. Yeah? Kevin is an outcast. Mirabel, where she came from, forbids that. And Kevin trained Mirabel in school and so much more. So, you, please, if you are in this young man's shoe, what will you do at this point? And if you are in this young girl's shoe, what will you do at this point? Please, I want you to go to the comment section. Tell me what you feel about this very issue. And don't forget, as you are commenting, comment respectfully don't forget to like and share after watching eh? above all subscribe to stay updated as you continue to throw skit comedy to stay updated as you continue to be a royal and faithful fan may god bless you now and always amen now you don't watch this program and you learn something from it one thing I learned from this program now is that anything I want to do to, from with anybody, any agreement, I have to go further to find out who is this person, where is he from, what kind of. In fact, I need to find everything, find out everything concerning that person before I go into that an agreement. They love each other, but the bridge between them now is this outcast of a team. So before you go into any agreement, please try to find out something everything concerning that person you want to go into an agreement with it is very very important because had he been there did that in this very issue we wouldn't be here today so please support me by sharing this video for the world to watch and learn and as we are doing so do not forget that we live in a wicked world where best friend by best friend where love one by love one where those you trust so much betrays you don't forget that we live in a cold world where it is better to dine and wine with thy enemy than to keep yourself for that best friend, that loved one, that person you trust so much that will end up to buy you tomorrow. Even the Bible said it, that the enemy of a man lies in his household. Please, do not misunderstand me. Do not misquote me. So, click on the share button right now. Share this video as many times as you can. And as you do so, Oga Adrege Maneke, Oga Adrege Manuri, Oga Adrege Manafo, Oga Adrege Manampo, Ise.